Hi, welcome back to another episode of Casey reliving really awkward memories from school. Hello, hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Casey. Today is going to be a story time video and I haven't done a story time video in quite a while. And with school approaching very soon, actually within the next couple days I start, I thought, you know, what should I do? Should I do an everyday makeup tutorial for school? Should I do a natural makeup tutorial? Should I do anything beauty related? I'm driving by my old school yesterday and it's not my high school, it was like a temporary school. I will explain, don't worry. Um, and that just made me think of all the really weird and messed up things that happened there while I was there. So, instead of doing any of those makeup tutorials, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna tell you about what happened at the school. I will not be mentioning the name of the school, obviously, there's no point. And also, I wouldn't even want you to attend there. I do not recommend you go there. So, a lot of this stuff is a little bit messed up. So, trigger warning, if you are sensitive to anything kind of dark, um, murder, anything like that, Yes, we're starting off the video like this. Maybe not watch this. I don't, I'm not gonna go into detail. Obviously, I'm not gonna be saying much, but um, yeah, or if you are triggered by anything um, disgusting, uh, yeah, just, just a warning. There's a little bit of that in this video, so yeah, love that. So this school was not a high school. It was not a high school that I attended. This is actually um, a school that offers you high school credits um, so that you can apply to a different program or some people that don't finish high school They can go there and they can complete their credits But most of the time uh, people go there so that they can get high school credits because maybe they're switching their program Or maybe they want to or they didn't get certain credits in high school and they know what they want to do That's where I was you get to select I think about three or four courses They'd like you to pick they were segregated into adult section and then there was like a regular like Actual high school age section. I guess people had dropped out and went back or they've been moved to this. I don't know don't know their lives. Let me describe the people that are at the school. First of all, first of all, <laughs> the staff are absolutely rude. So rude. So disrespectful. And let me tell you what happened. Some of them are nice. Obviously not all, but I'm talking about the guidance staff, like the guidance counselors, people that should be helping you. No, no, no. Very rude. I went in to set up my courses and pick some stuff that's gonna fit my schedule for work and also fit me going to class and getting to work on time because I would work closings and then I'd go to school every day in the morning. They would ask you, what program do you want to go into? What blah 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 do you want to do? So they can get a better sense of what grades, what grades you should achieve to get into this program. They're trying to help you. But there was one lady who was so rude and so of course I just happened to get her because with my luck you know? While I was waiting to see her, she was talking to an Asian girl. Clearly she is an international student. She had come to Canada and she was very smart because she I heard her reading her grades of like 92, 90, 89, 94. Like she was looking at her transcript and she's like, oh, she said she wanted to go into some engineering program. A guidance counselor laughed in her face. She was like, yeah, you think you're going to get into this program? Yeah, okay. The audacity of this lady. I literally almost got up and was like, excuse you. Even if someone is not that smart, they're here to improve their grades or get certain credits. Why are you shitting on them? But who is this lady to be telling us or telling these people, especially a smart student, no, you won't be able to do that. No, no, no. That's the first thing. And then when you want to call back to answer any questions about certain things, they put you on hold for about 25 minutes. By the way, nobody's there because every time I go, it's empty. Whenever I have a basic question, the person cannot answer. It's either they're, it sounds like they're high out of their mind. They're just like, hi, um, I just had a question. Okay, go ahead. What's the, what's the issue? Yeah, I just wanted to know, um, how much is it to register this semester for this, this, and how much are the textbook deposits? Um, yeah, I think, I think the textbook deposits are this. I think I'm I'm not actually sure to be honest. Can you check for me because I need to know so I can take my money out for you? Uh yeah, just uh, just one sec. Yeah, hold on. Beep. And then I don't hear from them for another 20 minutes. Hello. Hi. Yeah, you've had me on hold. I just want to know how much this and this. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I kid you not. Or they'll just hang up on you. So that's them. A lot of students are normal, quiet. Just whatever. 
Then you've got really ratchet people. Then you've got really rude people. And then you've got a mix of everybody else in between. Some of them were a little bit ratchet, I won't lie. But being ratchet is not the thing that bothers me, okay? Because I can be a little much sometimes too, you know? It's the fact that some of them were not even just people there in general, just rude, okay? And what I mean by rude is I'll be walking through the hall, you know, just trying to go because I don't want to be there. And, you know, I go to class and then I leave. When I tell you hordes of guys cluster in the hallways, I'm telling you, the, the whatever seven feet of like clearance in that hallway they're in, hordes of them just standing in clusters talking and you have to weave your way through the hall. And when I tell you you gotta weave, I mean, girl, you gotta weave. Like they block you on purpose so that you they can be like, <coughs> <What's good? laughs> What's good would be if you would move out of my way. That would be what's good, good? What's good? Get out of my way. I know men will look, but don't stare. I hate when anybody stares. I just think it's super rude. So when I'm at a table in the lunchroom by myself trying to like study or look at a textbook or just eat, God forbid, eat something there. When it was lunchtime, I would go to a secluded area in the school and I would eat by myself because I was not about this. You sit in that cafeteria, people come, sit on the table where I am sitting and would just go like, looking down at me. I'm not even exaggerating. Just, just no, make sure I know they're there and that they're just, and then they get up and go sit with their friends right next to me. And I'm like, can I help you with something? Did you, what do you want? I have a natural kind of resting bitch face, but usually if somebody approaches me, I smile. And I remember once I was waiting at the bus stop, minding my own business, hordes of people there. There's a group of like five guys next to me and one of them trying to holla at me. And I was just like, mm. So then I was just standing there, minding my business on my phone, just mm, music in, headphones in, clearly you can see headphones in. And he's like, hey girl, what's your name? Why? Where you from? Where's your, what's your background? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, why do you want it? Why? Usually I make like my, my natural resting bitch face, I guess, turns people off that they're like, whoa, she looks kind of not approachable. So naturally, I guess it just doesn't happen to me. Um, but on the odd time it does, if they're not respectful enough to be like, hey, what's your name? I just thought you were really pretty. Can I get, that's fine. I just be like, no, like I have a boyfriend, whatever. But if you're just like, <coughs> what's good with you, ma? <coughs> What's your background? What's your sign? What's your horoscope? Oh girl, you looking like a Thanks, but no thanks. Spin the Wheel of Fortune, can I get a N? Oh wow, we've got a couple N's. And let's spin again, can I buy a vowel? Can we get a O? No, bitch! Shoot your shot, but don't do it like that because I'll tell you what, most times it's not gonna work. On to the more interesting things and nasty things. Um, so, um, there was somebody that, um, from my old school, knew me. And he saw me once in the hallway and he's like, oh hey, I remember you, blah blah blah, you know, we're talking, whatever. He told me how he, you know, he thinks the school's really like gross and like the people here are like, mm, yeah, some of them are just like, I don't know. So I was like, yeah, some people are kind of like, mm, but whatever, like nobody really bothers me. I just kind of keep to myself. I'm really quiet. Um, and that's it, you know? And he's like, yeah, well, girl, just be careful when you go to the bathroom. I was intrigued, you know? I was like, so what's going on? Like, what do you mean be careful in the bathroom? He's like, well, obviously I don't know about the female bathroom, but the male bathroom. He's like, I went in there once. And you know, as I was going to the bathroom during class, I heard some interesting noises coming from the other stall. Now I'm not gonna say what he was doing, but I will say it involved his cell phone and him being in a stall by himself. And he wasn't using the bathroom. He wasn't going one or two, okay. So I'm gonna let you put the pieces together and figure out what noises he was probably hearing in that stall that he felt uncomfortable and was like, what the heck you're doing this at school? Just gonna let that, just gonna let that kind of marinate on top, you know? He said it was just loud, he, he did not turn the volume down, and he was apparently going to town and I was, ugh, ugh, I don't even like thinking about it, that's disgusting. Now on to the kind of like scarier stuff. Um, there was one day I didn't go to class because I think it was like a tutorial day, so I decided to stay home one day. Good thing I did, because the same guy that told me that stuff about the bathroom had come to me and said, girl, you don't know what happened. The other day, when you missed class, because usually we'll see each other, like we'll cross paths. He told me that there was like a shutdown, like they shut down the school, like there was a, what's it called, a lockdown? Yeah, a lockdown. 
Apparently somebody in the school was having a fight by one of the back doors of the school and stabbed him. Okay? Stabbed him. And so they had a lockdown. All I know is that it was a couple guys. Don't know if they caught him. Cops came, swarmed the school, and there was some witnesses. So, like, I don't even want to know what the rest of the story was, but apparently that's what happened, and I missed it. And thank God I wasn't there because that would have been scary. I do not want to be there when there's no rampage going on. Mm -mm. Don't know if that kid was okay. We never heard back. I think they tried to be hush hush about it, but obviously it wasn't because people had seen it and were talking. So, and after seeing the police, you can hear them talking with the teachers so obviously the word's gonna get around you can't really be quiet about something like that anyway so that happened so that's a little scary so being at that school was definitely not fun oh one funny thing though was my mom one day offered to come and pick me up she's just waiting in her car i'm about to come out and some like young guy walks up to her and starts like trying to flirt with her and be like, oh yeah, you can be my sugar mama, blah, 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 blah. My mom's like, what the heck is going on? She's like, no, um, you're a little too young for me and I'm married, so no. He's like, oh, that's no problem. Like, it's okay that you're married, blah, blah, blah. But my mom was just like, you will not believe what just happened. And I was so in shock. I'm like, that's how nasty this school is. I do, oh. I would never recommend. I only did it because, you know, I need to better myself, you know. I did it for me. <laughs> That's it. If you could choose another way of going about it, like, honestly, I kind of wish I just did it online. I mean, I won some awards there for, like, the teacher gets to choose, like, the top student of the class. I remember I, I got nominated a few times at that school. Some of my profs were pretty cool. There was another lady that was doing chem and bio. She was really nice. She bumped up my mark for me. Uh, my guy teacher that I had, Mr. Lau, he was awesome. I really, really liked him. Anyways, this was my random story time video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this made you laugh in some type of way or at least appreciate if your school is not as bad as me or has nasty stuff like that going on. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I do post. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.